Welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to be talking about how to factor reset a 40 gauge. So as part of this lab build out, um, you know, we need clean equipment and I had previously been using this firewall as another lab where I was doing uh, multi VDOM testing. So in, uh, in the new build, I don't want it to be a multi VDOM right away. I want to do a video with you guys showing you guys how multi VDOM works. So I'm going to factory reset this thing. So inside of the firewall, I need you to open up the command line and execute factory reset. So if you're in multi VDOM mode, you need to be in global. But if you don't have multi VDOM mode, you can just type this in. You have to hit it twice, and it's going to ask you to confirm. And you're going to hit yes. So while this thing is factory resetting, I have uh, port one on the firewall plugged into my computer, and I'm using the default IP address. So after the factory reset, it should be exactly the same. If it's not, what you're going to want to do is plug port one uh, of the firewall into your computer and navigate to this address because after the factory reset, this is the default settings. So while we're sitting here and waiting, I'm going to set up a ping test to just run continuously. And that way we'll know when the firewall comes back up. All right, so we started getting pings again, so I should be able to go over here in the browser and just navigate to this IP address. And I have a default config. So the default credentials to get into a fresh firewall is admin with no password. And the first thing it's going to do is ask you to change the password. Then you get your little pop-up. So this thing out of the box has no host name and we haven't set up dashboards. So it's going to ask you to do that. It is on the most recent firmware though. And you get this little welcome to Ford OS 7.0 video. So I've already watched that. If, uh, if you haven't, go ahead and check it out. So we're just going to make sure everything comes up stable. All right, so we need to go to the manage Forta switch. Unauthorized. Authorize. Offline. So we have port A available, but the actual logical interface is showing down. So I'm going to go into network interfaces. <coughs> Ooh, they got a, some nice default segments that they added. So I'm going to go ahead and disable this and then re-enable it and uh, because port A is online hopefully it will come back up. There we go. Alright so now it's showing green. Let's go to our Wi-Fi and switch controller. Oh, it's still showing offline. Anyway, I will deal with that off air. But uh, what might end up happening is I might need to actually go to the FortiGate or the Forti switch itself and press the little pin in that um, factory resets it. And then hopefully when it comes back online, um, we can register it. And if that is the case, I will record a video about how to register a uh, managed Forti switch in the FortiGate. That's pretty much it for this one. We have a clean install. We have uh, no VDOMs on here. Um, it appears that this topology view exists whether you have VDOMs or not, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, on the next video we're going to start configuring a basic network configuration. If you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up, click subscribe, and turn on notifications because I'm going to be building out an entire enterprise network and you don't want to miss it. Catch you on the next video.